It's time to check out the One Time Only pack that released on September 30th, 2006. This pack was a celebration of 360 degrees of visible air. But before we have a look at this pinwheel of 360 hybrids, let's have a look at the history of air pack that released early on in 2006. This pack of eight Air Maxes released to celebrate and unveil the Air Max 360. We've got the Air Max 1, 90, 180, 93, 95, 97, 2003, and 360 models. As we'll see in a second, as we look at each model, the air bubble gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Before we have a look at the history of Air Pack though, let's have a look right here at the Nike Tailwind which originally released in late 1978. This was the first pair of Nikes ever to feature Nike Air technology. Now you can't see the visible Nike Air buried here in the midsole. That didn't happen until 1987 with the Air Max that was designed by Tinker Hatfield. But it's worth checking out the Tailwind so we can see where Nike Air got started. We'll put the Tailwinds back here and have a look at the history of Air Pack. Starting here with the Air Max 1. It was designed by Tinker Hatfield and his inspiration was the George Pompidou Center. This was the first Nike ever to feature visible air. From the Air Max 1, let's have a look over here at the infrared Air Max 90. Back in the day, this shoe was called the Air Max 3 and it was also designed by Tinker Hatfield. Very, very cool, good looking shoe. From the Air Max 90, let's have a look at the Ultramarine Air 180. This shoe is called the Air 180 because you can see visible air 180 degrees around the outsole of the shoe. This was my dad's all-time favorite pair of Air Maxes during his marathon days. From the 180, let's have a look at the Laser Blue Air Max 93s, which back in the day were called Air Max 270s because you can see visible air 270 degrees around the midsole. Now the Air Max 93 was the first pair of Air Maxes ever to feature colored visible air, which is a really cool innovation. From the 93, let's look at the cool gray neon yellow Air Max 95s. These were designed by Sergio Lozano. This is the first time that Nike ever put visible air in the front of the shoe as well as in the back. The inspiration for this shoe was the human body. From the 95, Let's look at the Air Max 97, which is my all-time favorite pair of Air Maxes, and the first time that Nike was ever able to successfully put visible air from the heel all the way to the toe. I remember when this shoe first came out, it was so innovative, it's literally been my favorite pair of running shoes ever since. From the 97s, let's look at the Air Max 2003s. Again, we have visible air from the heel all the way to the toe. The air bubble looks different on this shoe than the 97. It's kind of split up over here, but very cool, underrated, and under-retroed pair of Air Maxes. And then from the 03 to the Air Max 360, which for the first time, Nike was able to remove all of the foam in the midsole. 360 technology lasted all the way until 2009. This is the original Air Max 360. There were also 362s, 363s, and Neo 360s. And the one time only pack that we're gonna look at now was a celebration of 360 degrees of visible air. It's four different hybrids in a variety of colors. It's the Air Max 90, 95, 97, and 360. And this pinwheel is set up on purpose. Check this out. This is actually one of the original advertisements for the one time only pack. Now, interestingly, in addition to these one dozen shoes, the one time only pack actually included four other pairs of shoes, LE woven footscape 360s. And these were even more rare than the one dozen shoes in the pinwheel on the table. All 16 of these shoes retailed for $200 and they released on the last fiscal day of the quarter, September 30th, 2006, in addition to the Grape Fives that I'm wearing right now and it was the first time that Nike ever retroed the Grape Jordan Fives. 
Let's have a look one by one at these one dozen shoes. We'll start with the OG colors. Here's the infrared 90 with a 360 midsole and outsole. The first four shoes that we're gonna look at are OGs. The next four are part of the clerks pack in crazy colors. And the last four are the Baroque brown editions. Here's the second pair, boom. Cool gray, neon yellow, Air Max 95s with the 360 midsole and outsole. I fell in love with these original colorways when they came out. The Air Max 97 right here is my all-time favorite pair of Air Maxes, and then they put on it 360 technology, which in 06 was the best technology that there was. Here's the Air Max 360. It's not really a hybrid because it's just a 360 with a 360 midsole and outsole. Probably the most plain of all of these shoes. From the plain 360 to check this one out, the Polka Dot Colorful 360, these are really fun. And then these are the 97s that were inspired by the Union Air Force 180s, similar to the shoe that Charles Barkley wore in the Dream Team Olympics. From the 97s, to the 95s. These are inspired by bacon, kind of like the DQM 90s or the 90 Currents. Dave Quality Meats was the inspiration for these. Cool colorway. Lastly are the 90s from the Clerks Pack. These are the Foot Patrols with the elephant print on here. Cool, crazy colorway. And then the last four that we're gonna look at here are the Baroque Browns. Here's the 97s and then the 95s. Very clean, premium looking shoe. Here's the Air Max 90 360. And then here's the 360 in Baroque Brown. In addition to all of these hybrids, there were a whole lot of other hybrids that Nike was releasing with this 360 midsole and outsole until it was replaced with the Air Max 2009. It's worth breaking out this shoe right here so we can see the next big innovation, which was this air bubble Check that out. You can see that that's an upgrade from the 360 that has a lot of plastic on there. But I really wanna place this shoe on the back here so that we can sort of complete putting these one-time only 360 hybrids into their place. We got the Tailwind where Nike Air got started. We've got eight shoes representing the first 20 years of the evolution of visible air. Then the one-time only pack, which is a celebration of hybrids with that 360 technology. And then the Sport Red Air Max 2009, which ultimately replaced the 360 technology.